Everyone talks about adding weight variables to a population-based analysis, but how do you actually do that? If you are learning R, use this video to challenge yourself. We'll start by creating a binary flag so we can tell what goes in the numerator and what goes in the denominator. Next, we'll construct a design using the survey package. After that, I'll show you how to modify the design so it accommodates the binary flag we made, and that is how we will get our weighted percentages. And if you stick around to the end of the video, I'll show you how to calculate weighted counts. Hi, I'm Monica of DeathWinch Professional Services, and I teach public health data science. If you are new to the channel, welcome. And if you are returning, thank you for coming back. I try to post a new video every Friday at 10 a.m., so don't forget to be a regular visitor so you can be the first to check out my new video every week. Today, I'm going to demonstrate how to apply weights from a real-world data set called NHANES using our GUI. If you want to learn more about NHANES, read my blog post about NHANES. The link is in the description. As you'll see in my blog post, the NHANES data and documentation come from this online portal. The NHANES is one surveillance effort, but for whatever reason, they split up the data into different data sets. For this demonstration, we will be using the demographics data. I'll click on it. We only have one choice of data set. As you can see, you can read the documentation under the doc file heading and download the data from clicking under the data file heading. Let's click on the documentation. Here we get to the data dictionary. See this variable rea gender? That is the variable we are going to use to create our binary flag so we can see the proportion of women in the data set. Let's go. Okay, here we are in our GUI. If you want this code I'm using, just click on the link in the video description to go to my GitHub folder. Make sure you download the code r1 underscore 06 underscore 07 underscore apply weights. As I showed you before, we are going to use the demographic data set because that is the data set that has the weight variables. Let's look at the top of this code. I started with some commands which are kind of a cheat sheet for the variables we are going to use. Next, I imported the native data set p underscore demo into the data frame dg underscore a. And so that's where we will start. First, we are going to make a few variables. Okay, so actually we start with a kludge. Are you familiar with the word kludge? It means a sketchy workaround. That's what this one line of code is. It creates a variable in our data set named one, spelled O-N-E, and it has a one in it. Every row has a one in it. It's to make it easy to use the survey package for counting. Stick around to the end of the video and you'll see where we use it. Next, we are going to make our binary variable, the one we will use in a weighted percentage. To be easy, I decided to just identify the women. So, as you can see here, we make a binary variable called woman. The first line of code populates all rows with a zero. Then the next line of code updates it to a one if rea gender equals two, which means woman. And then we run a two-way frequency to make sure we constructed the variable properly. Let's run all this code and take a look at our woman variable. Here is our output. And yes, it looks like we recorded our woman variable properly. That's step one. Now let's go back and construct our survey design. Okay, let's take this in a few steps. First, let's call up the survey library and set up the design. We start by calling up the survey package. Next, I'm setting this option, which is the survey.lonely.psu option. I'm setting it to adjust. This helps correct for small primary sampling units or PSUs in the native data. Now the code under it creates an object called nhanes underscore design. To do that, we use the svy design command. Then see how we set all these options in that command? The id, strata, and weight commands relate to those variables I put up in the comment. The data set we are working with is obviously dg underscore a, and we set nest to true. Let's run this basic design code to set up the design. Okay, great, we finished the next step, constructing the survey design. Hey, if you ever want advice about public health or data science, schedule a free 30 minute Zoom appointment with me using the link in the description. And don't forget to follow me and the Deathwench Professional Services company page on LinkedIn. 
All right, now that we made our woman flag and we constructed our NHANES design, we now need to modify our NHANES design to add our woman variable to it. That's what we are doing here. We use an update command and then we do something interesting. We actually create a factor variable on the fly, which I called woman underscore F. We say woman underscore F equals a factor variable, which is our woman flag. Now notice that since we are creating a factor variable, we can use the levels and the labels option to label the levels. You'll see I set the levels as 0 and 1, and the labels as not woman and woman. This is the last transformation step we need to do before the analysis, so let's run the code. Okay, great, it ran. Now finally, we get to calculate our percentages. Actually, we are calculating weighted proportions, and this is how we are doing it. We are using the SVY mean command. You'll see we list the arguments in this order. First, we put a tilde and then the name of the factor variable we just created. Then we add the name of the design object, which is nhanes underscore design. And then we add the na.rm equals true option to tell R to remove any NAs, meaning any empty rows. Okay, ready to see the weighted percentages? Let's run this SVY mean code. All right, there we go. This data set is overweighted for women. See the weighted proportion for women is 0.51121, so basically 51%. See how much work this is just to get a weighted proportion? These analyses have so many steps in them. Have you ever done a weighted analysis? If so, how did it go? Did you use R with the survey package or some other tool? Tell us all in the comments. If you like this content, please be sure to hit the like button because then my videos will come up in your feed more often. Or better yet, hit subscribe. It's free, and it really helps me out. Thank you. Okay, here is your special bonus. I've already showed you how to do the weighted proportions. Now I'll show you how to do those weighted counts. And you can see where I use this mysterious one variable. Okay, first we need to count up all the people the data set represents. That's where we use this SVY total command. So what variable are we counting? Well, we are counting that one variable. So our, our arguments are a tilde followed by the one variable and then our design, which is nhanes underscore design. So let's run this and see how many people are in the entire data set. This is our denominator. Here it is in the console, we can see it, about 320 million people because this is supposed to represent the entire US. But now how many women does it represent? Let's look at the next code. Okay, so here is how you get the weighted counts of women. We will use the SVY by command. Notice the arguments. First, we have a tilde and the one variable, then tilde and our woman underscore F factor variable, and then the NHANES underscore design object, then SVY total. Let's run this and look at the console. And there we go. This data set represents about 164 million women. How about that? Want to continue your data science journey with me, an experienced professional, at your side? Take my online course, Application Basics, and learn business application terminology demonstrated through unique case studies, so you are empowered to divine novel insights from analyzing application data. Better yet, register for the workshop. Click on the link in the description to access the course and workshop. And don't forget to follow me on the socials. Links to all my social media accounts are in the description. Let's stay connected because you never know where your data science journey will lead. Have a data emergency or just need advice? Remember to let Deathwinch do your data.